the 222 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. <laughs> years after winning the right to host the FIFA World Cup, Qatar 2022 became a reality. Although China did not qualify for the tournament, the centerpiece stadium La Salle was built by a Chinese company, the China Railway Construction Corporation. While Chinese manufacturer Yutong delivered 888 electric buses in time for the World Cup giving Qatar one of the largest electric bus fleets in the world. On the pitch, the Qatar World Cup will be remembered for a whole host of shocks and surprises that will live long in the memory. Not least Saudi Arabia's scintillating victory over Argentina in the group stage. The win stunned Lionel Messi's team, as well as those attending the official fan festival. All of the odds was against us and uh, we believe in ourselves. Um, we worked hard to get here, it wasn't easy, and I think we proved everyone that uh, we are worthy to be here. The surprises continued. Japan scored victories over Germany and Spain. But one of these stories of the World Cup occurred in Group F. After wins over Canada and Belgium in the group stage, Morocco then went on to beat Spain and Portugal to reach the semi-finals the first time an African and Arab nation had reached the final four. A semi-final against France proved a step too far for Morocco. It meant France, the holders, would play Argentina in the final. The South Americans had bounced back from that defeat to Saudi Arabia, and most observers predicted it would be a classic. It's a dream final, but it's not just a, just a dream final. It's, um, it's the reality of this World Cup for me. It will be a tough final, but uh, very balanced. And so it proved to be so. Argentina swept into a two-goal lead, only for France to hit back with two goals from Kylian Mbappe in the final 10 minutes. In extra time, there were further twists as the match finished 3 all. A momentous game would be decided by penalties. And then came the moment, Argentina's winning penalty kick. much to the joy of Argentina fans in Qatar and Buenos Aires. Argentina were champions for a third time and Argentina's 35-year-old captain Lionel Messi had finally won a World Cup. A truly spectacular ending to Qatar 2022. Dan Williams, CGTN, Doha.